Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar where we will be learning how to protect yourself from bloodborne pathogens. Bloodborne pathogens cannot survive for extended periods outside of the body, but they can survive in bodily fluids for days or weeks. Although infection is not imminent, bloodborne pathogens can enter the body from any mucous membrane, including minor scrapes or cuts. Therefore, protecting yourself is the first step toward preventing transmission. Protecting yourself includes understanding bloodborne pathogens where they may be, taking standard universal precautions, following hand washing protocols, and thinking about your actions in advance. Always think about your environment too. An environment can be unsafe. Other employees, family members, or other events must always be considered before you begin dealing with possible bloodborne pathogen exposure. Imagine a car accident victim who has suffered severe wounds. Make sure the scene of the accident is safe before you proceed. Universal precautions are simple. They dictate that until proven otherwise, any bodily fluid may contain the blood-borne pathogens that could kill you. In other words, wear appropriate personal protective equipment as needed to prevent exposure, which includes the following. Gloves, goggles, face shield, mask, waterproof gown, CPR mouth shields, and mouth guard. The type of PPE depends on the unique circumstances of each case. If blood is likely to come into contact with your clothing, wear a waterproof disposable gown. Always wear gloves, and if spurting or coughing is likely, a face shield or mask may be needed. Remember possible allergies to latex. Some people may be allergic to materials used in the manufacture of PPE. For example, a person may be allergic to latex gloves. If a person is unable to provide allergy information, default to the use of non-latex gloves to be safe. So follow hand washing protocols. So to wash your hands properly, first you need to turn the faucet on to warm water. You want the water to be warm, but avoid scalding or painful temperatures. If the towel dispenser is not automatic, make sure you can access the towel without touching the towel with dirty hands. For example, the small wheel on the side may need to be turned before you wash your hands. Then wet your hands thoroughly. Apply soap and work your hands into a lather vigorously. Clean all surfaces of the hand, including two inches up your wrist. Wash under your fingernails by making a scratching motion from side to side in the palm of your opposing hand. Rinse from the wrist towards the fingertips. Avoid touching the basin of the sink or any other surface while rinsing. Then towel off. Throw the used paper towel away. Use a new towel to turn the water off. Do not use the now wet towel to turn off the water. It will provide a vehicle for pathogens to get back onto your hands and then use a new towel to open the door. Some other things to know is think before you drink. So when it's break time, it can be tempting to head straight for your drink or snack. However, you should always wash your hands before ever touching something that will come into contact with your mouth. This includes food, tobacco, vaporizers, drinks, and makeup. Biohazard symbols indicate what type of pathogens may be present in an area. Your workplace has specific rules regarding where biohazards may be discarded, so check with your supervisor or ECP for guidance. And never discard hazardous waste into ordinary trash cans. Don't forget we offer online bloodborne pathogen certification on our site. You can find a link in the description. We encourage you to become certified as soon as possible, whether that be on your own time with an online course or in an in-classroom setting. So thank you so much for tuning in today's webinar. We hope to catch you the next time.